YouTube, what's up, baby? Back in this thing again for another review. This is Q's Insight. I'm Kelly, and today we're here to talk about Loki season two, episode two. All right, now, um, been this channel before, you already know how we do it. We started off with the premise, three favorite scenes, the grave. And then we on to the next one, right? Um, so again, Loki, season two, episode two. Um, let me, I, I'll start off by saying this, man. I, I, I'm kind of confused by like what's going on in the show. Like, I don't, I don't know if it's because I just, I'm not paying attention enough. Like, <laughs> I don't know if it's because, um, like we just don't have the answers or if just things are just so confusing that it's just it is what it is you know i i don't i don't really know but uh f for some reason like the first episode uh you know what i'm saying like i was following everything but really just kind of lost second episode following everything but still really just kind of lost <laughs> so i'll just kind of point out what happened in the episode and um uh I guess get three of my favorite scenes and then the great or not. Um, but again, uh, low key season two, episode two. So in this episode, we see that um, um, Loki and uh, Mobius, they have to um, look for uh, Sylvie, right? And while they're looking for Sylvie, um, in order, in, in order to find where Sylvie's whereabouts are, they have to uh, look for, uh, what is the, the, um, the agent's name? They have to look for, geez, uh, Hunter X-5, okay? Now we know who Hunter X-5 is. Of course, he was um, one of the um, TVA agents or TVA um, soldiers, however you wanna say, um, that was working, um, for one of the higher ups, uh, uh, General Docs, I guess her name is, right? And you know, when he's when you're introduced to him on the first episode, you kind of just don't like this dude. Like you see that he's just doing whatever he has to do to go against Loki and uh, and and, and uh, Mobius. Um, so uh, just you just you just kind of don't like the guy. But when we see him. Um, being chased down by Loki and uh and Mobius when we see X um X5 being chased Hunter X5 being chased down by them um he's in a different timeline and this timeline um he is a an actor a famous actor um and so they 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 um track him down um they end up talking to him um and they end up finding out that, you know, he has some type of device that can uh, push him back and forth through time, um, as well as um, he and the others did, I guess, find out that, you know, they were variants and whatever it may have been. And so because of this, um, he kind of wanted to go, uh, you know, live his, either his real, um, life story <laughs> or just a made up one you know what i'm saying i don't know um so that's that's why he did that but um so after he talks to uh mobius and um and loki um they still like i said they try to get him to um to give the whereabouts or or um let them know a way that they can reach um sylvie so um he tries to run away they end up catching him they end up um taking him to um they end up taking him back to the the uh the tva right i mean not not necessarily tva but i mean you know just just headquarters right um for questioning and so when they do this 
they end up getting to a point where you know he does end up spilling the guts and they end up finding a way to where Sylvia is and instead of just like leaving him back there you know they're actually going to take him with them so that way you know it can't be no trickery right um so when they go to where the timeline is where where this where Sylvia is um you see the the character uh um Hunter X 5 he's kind of in a hurry like to get out of the timeline like you know okay you found Sylvie like let's go type stuff or you found Sylvie can I go type stuff and it's it it just seems weird and the re we come to find out the reason why he's like in such a hurry is because one of the higher up members um for the TVA um that is still you know running things they decided that since the timelines are branched off whatever it may have been that they're actually not pruning people bro they're pruning the timelines so like whole timelines bro just disappearing um you know i guess to try to uh stop it from branching off but you know that's still that's life you're killing life off so that's a crazy thing so because of this he feels like you know like unsure of where she's gonna prune next so you know he definitely wants to get out of there and i'm guessing that whatever timeline that he was in maybe it's to the point where she was never going to touch that timeline you know what i'm saying so um but yeah so that ends up happening um they do end up finding sylvie um and then a conversation is is had uh between her and loki and that they end up taking the um i forgot to also say that that's pretty much it but i forgot to say that they end up taking the device um that's needed um to open up the door um uh, for like a, a it's 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 one of the one of the main tva doors or whatever or or i guess you say like king's king's like room like or whatever they can't get into it unless they have this device or whatever so they have the device they uh they fix it and then um but they still have no way to get in it doesn't work so i don't know what's wrong with that but Anyways, um, like I said, I was very confused by the episode. I, I just, I, from the first episode to this episode, I was very confused. Uh, certain, I, I could tell you the elements of what happened, but it's just like, I just, I feel, I feel, uh, I feel like I didn't watch it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's crazy, even though I did. But, um, yeah, uh, the, that's basically the premise of this episode. Three of my favorite scenes. Um, it's it's kind of hard to choose three favorite scenes because there's not really been no action for the first episode to the second episode. But if I'm gonna choose some, of course, uh, this may be spoilers and this may be out of order. Okay, um, but one would be when Loki and um, and uh, Mobius is chasing down uh, Hunter X Five because it gets to a point where um, Loki is is using his magic quite a quite a bit like a few there's a few de uh, demonstrations of him using like he's like makes us uh like a uh uh, uh kind of like a group of people and these are all different individuals as well um you know what i'm saying like surrounds um hunter x5 and it, it looks it looks clean or whatever like you know and he's like oh like you know he's 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 really uh uh scared of the situation so he tries to defend himself and when he hits whoever it is it just goes right through him. So it's obviously hologram created by Loki. So that's one of the magics that he uses at that point. But then also uh, we see him create other versions of himself we've seen before. But then also we see the shadows that his, uh, he, he cast shadows on the wall and they didn't, they weren't even him. Like they weren't the shadows that he created from the uh, other versions of himself. They were actual different uh, uh, versions of himself that were the shadows, right? That's um, had the, the Loki, like, you know what I'm saying, uh, emblem, like the, the crown on his head or whatever, right? But they grab uh, Hunter X-5 as as Loki's able to question him. So that was that was a cool scene. Uh, second favorite scene, we actually see when um, Hunter X-5 is being interrogated and he kind of gets under the skin of, um, of Loki and definitely under the skin of uh, Mobius because Mobius ends up slapping that fool, bro. 
So um, that would be my second favorite scene. Uh, third favorite scene, um, I guess I guess you could say would would be uh, just just uh, seeing Sylvie back again with um, with um, Loki. You know, just th those two characters, the chemistry that they have, the things that they can do. Um, and, and, and that they will do um, in the season. I just can't wait to see. So just to have them two back in, in a scene together, finally. Um, uh, you know, the, we did see a brief scene like that in the, in, the, in the first episode, but this was actually like them two back, you know what I'm saying? So I'm messing with that. But that'd be three of my favorite scenes. Are they great for this? It wasn't a bad... It wasn't a bad episode. It just was like... <sighs> I don't know, man. I, I kind of, like I'm digging the story aspect. I'm digging all the mystery. I'm digging all of them. I'm digging. I'm digging. I'm digging it. But I just want some action, bro. I really want some action, bro. But it may not have that much action. This is like one of those Doctor Who type things that uh, they got for Marvel. So I gotta just you know accept that and expect that as well. So, um, but yeah, definitely wasn't a bad episode for me. I'm gonna give it a. Um, like for real though, like for real, like you know. And then if I went back and I really like understood like everything that's going on, or once once everything is leveled out, you know, maybe go back and watch it. Like I feel like it can just make sense a little bit more to me. But um, still, where I'm at right now, still wasn't a bad episode. I, I I'll give it, I'll give it like a, I'll give it like a. I give it like a seven seven. All right, so seven point seven, seven point seven out of 10 all right so definitely above average definitely worth your time if you're a loki fan go check it out if you're a marvel fan go check it out if you're not a marvel fan still go check it out because this is something different uh it, it 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 just may do what you need it to do so yeah definitely check it out but uh if you guys saw the episode let me know what were some of your favorite scenes um do you like the way the season's going thus far are you confused like i am or do you just kind of just know everything and and and, and it's just you know, you're a well-oiled machine, so you're just going along with the, uh, with the story as it progresses. Let me know about that in the comments down below. Um, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. As always, this is Q's Insight. I'm Kelly. Until next time.